Hey, welcome to this video. This is Similolu here. And in this video, I'm going to go over five reasons why I am not sending my child back to the American school system. And before we get into these six reasons, the only thing I ask from you is that you don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button, drop me a comment in the comment section, and let's get this video on the and road. This is reason number six, straight off the CDC website, the Center for Disease Control. And it says here, teach and reinforce hand washing with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Increase monitoring to ensure adherence among students and staff. So the first question is, Who's teaching these kids how to wash their hands for 20 seconds and keeping an eye on the fact that they are washing it for up to 20 seconds? And then it says also increase monitoring. So are they going to say who is doing the monitoring? The teachers who are supposed to be teaching the subjects are going to be doing the monitoring. Okay, I'm not getting it. Let's move on to reason number five. Reason number five why I'm not sending my child back to school because I've got to understand how these laws, uh, these safety laws are going to be enforced. So number five, it says encourage staff and students to cover coughs and sneezes with a tissue. So a sneeze is coming. Wait, wait, uh, achoo! there was no time for me to get out my tissue. And for the student, that would be uh, it's somewhere in my backpack. Uh, 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 uh. Too late. Used tissues should be thrown in the trash and hands washed immediately. Two things that I expected of these children. Not only to make sure they're holding on to their tissues in the event that they need to cough or sneeze, but also they have to dispose of it immediately and wash their hands for 20 seconds. Again, the same question. Who's enforcing it? Oh, certainly not the teacher who's struggling to teach them biology, trying to get them to sit still. It's going to be the same one saying, and oh, Johnny, did you wash your hands for 20 seconds? Oh, wait, 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 class. I'm going into the bathroom with Johnny to make sure he washes his hands for 20 seconds. Mm -mm. Reason number four. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces at least daily or between use as much as possible. Hmm. Okay, so the kids are going out of the classroom into another classroom. Everybody's touching the doorknob, the, you know, the window, the whatever else there is to touch. You know, kids are pushing each other, whatever they're doing and touching things. So who's going to be going in between these kids as they're touching everything? disinfecting uh, again let's move to reason number two okay use of shared objects for instance gym art supplies toys games pencils erasers sharpeners computers laptops okay you get the point Use of shared objects should be limited when possible or cleaned between use. How about no gym at all? Because when you're in the gym, you're touching all the bars, you're throwing all the balls, you're picking up the hockey stick, whatever is done in gym, you're touching the mats, everybody's touching the mats. Gross. I can't see how there'll be anybody there to clean up um, in between. I can understand limiting the use. That makes sense. How about no gym? Reason number two. Individuals should be frequently reminded not to touch their faces or their face covering and to wash their hands frequently. So it's still the same thing. These individuals are school children. Children. How many things as children did you do that you were told to do? Like all the time. That's why they're children. So when you say don't touch your face, ah, 
So when you say don't touch your face covering, oh, but it's falling off. They will touch it because they're children. So reason number two. Mm -mm. Now let's move on to the last and the best reason of all. And now the last but not the least, if anything, it is the greatest of all the reasons why I'm not going to allow my child to go back to school is because <laughs> there is no cure yet. There is no vaccine. So, some people catch COVID-19, some survive, some don't, and then it becomes a statistic. Oh, this one survived because uh, we don't really know why he survived. Oh, that one died. Oh, yeah. He had an underlying condition. Nobody knew about it. Nobody knew he had a heart murmur. Nobody knew he, his, his kidneys were a little on the weak side. Nobody knew this and nobody knew that. And oh, well, one more dead. <laughs> Let's continue. Next. Okay. Being serious about this thing. It doesn't make sense. When the same CDC is recommending reduced numbers in enclosed spaces, and now we want to send children into schools in enclosed spaces where everybody is doing whatever they normally do. Now, bear in mind, even touching our faces is a reflex action. Yes, you may have been told, don't touch your faces, don't touch your masks and all that, but, you know, you've done it before you know it. Achoo, achoo. And on and on. And the next thing is, touch the eyes. Oh, there's something in my eye. Touch, touch, touch. You know what? Why don't the government, why doesn't somebody just call out the elephant in the room? And that is, for as long as there's no vaccine, there should be no recommendation to go back to schools or public institutions or, or wherever there are groups of people congregating indoors. Now, outdoors is a little different because there are not so many like surfaces to touch. Maybe if kids are out just, you know, hanging out on, on, the, on the field, you know, they're, they're talking. Now, we, now we're talking mainly about social distancing. Also, let's talk about social distancing. This should have been titled seven reasons why I'm not sending my child back to school because I didn't even mention social distancing at all. How do you expect two kids, several kids going in a room, out of room, or oh, I forgot something, back the room. The door is barely, what, three feet wide. I don't know. I'm not good with measures, but whatever it is, that's certainly not six feet wide. So they're going to be brushing shoulders the whole time. How do we maintain this six feet of distance? And I don't know. So all I know is that I am not sending my child back to school. And I get it. Not everybody has that option. Uh, my child is an older child. And I have resolved that he's going to continue to remote schooling at home they did it for three months from march to june he can do it for another few more months until there's a cure so that's it no cure no school i hope you that is it folks i hope you've learned something from this video even going over these guidelines has made me even more resolute to not send this child back to school i'm just going to have to do all i can to help him in his remote schooling and i hope you've learned something if you have a question ask in the comment box below don't forget to like but most importantly subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next video